even the winter you get. Every yeah, every season, as long as it's not raining. So you own the shop somewhere? A library, but this is we, we make things happen on the streets. You know? This is where the people are. Yes, it's been a long time, Elder. Yeah, for the last eight years we've established the first all black literature stall in the middle of one of the centres of UK capitalism. Right. You know, direct action, you know, black power in your face, pan Africanism in your face. So now I know you are distributing knowledge. Yes. Tell us, tell my viewers why you are doing this. Well, to I'll do I'll use decolonizing the African mind by Chinwezu and quote what he says in his description of this book, which basically relates to why I do what I do. It says the central objective in decolonizing the African mind is to overthrow the authority which alien traditions exercise over the African. This demands the dismantling of white supremacist beliefs and the structures which uphold them in every area of African life. So we believe in not just physical liberation, but liberation of the minds of our people, you know, on the continent and also in the diaspora. And we use it, we do this through distributing literature of revolutionary black authors that aren't promoted in Eurocentric bookshops or in the mainstream society. Well, we are affiliated and um, with with a organization um, called the Pan-African Congress Movement. And, you know, they used to have a bookshop um, called Head Start in Tottenham, West Green Road, that was closed down. We also affiliated with um, Centre Prize that used to be in Dalston that closed down. There's other bookshops like New Beacon and so forth. But we find that being out in the streets, yeah, we are able not just to sell books but galvanise young people and basically try to have discussions about, you know, things that are relevant to our, our plight, you know, as a people throughout the world. So this book, this book still specifically deals with black subject matter and you know self-improvement of the black nation. Many African people have been victims of racism and we're talking about institutional racism not just racism where somebody screams abuse at you but institutional racism. If you look at critical race theory it talks about you know systematic laws and systems that basically um, you know don't allow you to progress don't allow you to have as many life chances as maybe other people. So the only way to remedy this is to us to be self-reliant and harness the power of self-determination. And we can only do this through galvanizing our people. So to, to answer the question, there's many young black people, or sorry, young African people who are interested because they're not exposed um, to this type of information or privy to this information because they've been growing up on a Eurocentric curriculum. So, uh, yes. obviously we have Bob Marley, yes. we have Young, Gifted and Black, okay. you know, we have How to Unlock Your Genius Using Black History, yes. a book of cultural therapy and empowerment. Right. We also got Frederick Douglass, who was behind the Emancipation Proclamation, yep. a chief advisor to Abraham Lincoln. We have, you know, other nice stories. If you come to this side, the quote that I just gave you earlier, decolonizing the African mind by revolutionary author Chinwezu, Western the rest of us, white predators, black slavers and the African elite, world's great men of color, Yurugu by Marimba Ani, an African-centered critique of European cultural thought and behavior. We also got health books that talk about nutritional genocide, nutricide by the late great, never late great, um, Dr. Leila Africa, you know, Nutricide, yep. so many. We yep. organize book clubs and we believe in doing direct action. So that means that even here, this is a hub where black people are able to connect to other people or African people can connect. So discussions around, you know, subjects that pertain to our, you know, history and our current reality, you know, encourages us to come together as a people from different parts of, of, of the world, from South America to the Caribbean to Africa, you know, all over. Because Africa for the Africans, for those at home and those abroad, 
you know we have to come together and galvanize our people so this book stool is a is is, is a means for us to galvanize our, our people together okay. we do have book clubs but people also come and give us live feedback our repeat customers who come to the store also and my name is Solomon Lee my name my full name is Solomon Yaokunayambui Lee and I've been doing this for 21 years from Tottenham to Brixton making a major impact in Brixton for the last eight years we've been in Oxford Street one of the busiest streets in the world pushing the black literature you can find us in Instagram black child promotions Facebook black child promotions we got a documentary black child promotions by art beget spirit on YouTube you can find us there and just Google articles there's many articles written about our work